First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Random thought. Mm-hmm. What do you not want to see in this new year? <laughs> this is, we're going to start this new year off with positive, negative vibes. <laughs> what do you not want to see in 22? <laughs> or who do you not want to see in 22? Uh, shoot. Um, I, I don't want to see any more COVID, uh, no matter what variant. Oh, man, I don't want to see any more of that in 2022. Um, it'd be mm. cool if Ted Cruz just went to Cancun and stayed. And, you know, didn't have to see him in 2022. Um, God, man, it's funny. It's like the list could go on. I'm like, okay, the Kardashians, I don't want to see them. <laughs> Kanye, I don't want to see Kanye. Uh, Cardi yeah, B, yeah. I don't want to see Cardi B in 2022. Um, yeah. If you say Meg Thee Stallion, we're going to fight because I at least need to see her. I don't need to hear a rap anymore for 2022, but I do at least want to Just want to wanna have a looky-loo? Just, just, I just want to have a looky. Just a little looky look. I just want to have a little peeky. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Uh, I wouldn't mind not seeing some of that. Really, don't want to see Married at First Sight in twenty twenty two, but I don't well, have a choice. We start in two days. Don't have a choice for that. But what? What about you? What do you want to see go away? Um, the Paul brothers. <laughs> Jake Paul talking shit to Dana White and, you know, well, he does coke. And so Dana White goes, all right, well, I'll tell you what, you can test me for coke um, for the next 10 years if I test you for steroids for the next two. And then he comes out with these all these demands for what um, Dana White should do for the UFC. Never answers the, the challenge that Dana White puts out. Right. And then goes, he'll he'll retire from boxing and go join um, the UFC to fight Jorge Masvidal. I'm like, first of all, you can't retire from something you don't do. Right. You're not a boxer. You haven't boxed a boxer yet. You box people who don't box. Nate Robinson doesn't box. We know these UFC fighters you fought. Hell of MMA fighters. They're not boxers. Get in the ring with one boxer and we will see you laid out. Because, And that's why I hate that Floyd Mayweather actually even got in the ring with Logan Paul to watch Logan Paul on a real fight get in the booth with Brian Custer and the fact that they even put this guy on camera just irks the shit out of me because then he had the nerve when Brian Custer mentions Floyd Mayweather. He goes, and I retired Floyd Mayweather. To Brian Custer's credit, he ignored the shit out of Logan Paul when he said that. Me, on the other hand, I was pissed. <laughs> so me, what do I not want to see? is the the Paul brothers. Logan Paul right now calling Floyd a dirty little rat because he didn't pay him. Shut up. And like, like he Floyd was supposed to pay you. Have. Like, I don't understand that. Why would Floyd have to be the one to pay you? Aren't you more upset with pay-per-view? But the, the, Paul, the, the Paul brothers are just so annoying. And I really yes. think they've been, they've shed a negative light on the sport of boxing. Like, you just can't take boxing seriously now. Because any mm-hmm. jokers can do it. I would want to watch. I've not watched any of those fights because you're not fighting a boxer. You're fighting somebody who's used to, to grappling. And that's their the wrestle part of what they do right. is their strength. The judo part of what it's they do. the majority do of what they do. Is their strength. <laughs> Boxing mm-hmm. is not. And so for you to beat any of them at that, great. They've shown that they have some athleticism. They've shown that they mm-hmm. have some talent. But don't say you're going to retire from boxing when you haven't really boxed. I agree with that 100%. That's what me saying. You know, I'm going to re- retire from my dental practice. Ter- Terrell, you never been a dentist. I know, but I'm retired. <laughs> I thought about but I'm it. Retiring. But I'm retiring. <laughs> you know, so it's just dumb. So, yeah, I'm with you. I wouldn't want to see, I don't want to see any of them in 2022, both of them. I just want the Paul brothers to go away. Poof, be gone. Like, like my chances of winning the Powerball every time I go and buy a ticket on Monday, Wednesday, or Saturday. Poof, be gone. That's how I want the Paul brothers to go. Take away one of these things from us. If if it's not COVID, the Paul brothers. <laughs> like, that's the order. It's like, get rid of COVID or the Paul brothers, Kanye, Kim, Cardi B. Matter of fact, let's switch. Let's put the Paul brothers up first, then COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're definitely worse than COVID right now. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Yanni Rude. And I'm just Terrell. You ever been out somewhere and overheard two people having crazy conversations? Well, we are those people, and we've been having these conversations since college. Yes, it's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast, episode 69. Be sure to like, subscribe, and definitely leave a comment. Kiki, kiki, kiki. You know, the little kid of me wants to laugh when you say that. <laughs> it's because we're both 12. I thought about that. I was going to say, like, episode 69. <laughs> Well, we missed the opportunity. It's episode 68. 
Yeah. And I owe you one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, it's so we're recording this on Sunday, um, and it's it's later in the day than we normally record it, but we got to see some interesting things like the most bizarre job walkout <laughs> ever. I've seen some interesting ones. Like I remember one night late after the club, we're in IHOP and um, I'm in Fayetteville, North Carolina after the club and we're in IHOP and all of a sudden we you know, already placed our order. Cook walks out, can't take this shit no more. Throws his stuff down, is out the door. We're like, well, guess we're not eating. <laughs> <laughs> and that feels like what Antonio Brown did today. <laughs> the Buccaneers in the middle of the game it was like the third quarter. All of a sudden, took it, gone. took his pads off and then takes his shirt off and gloves mm-hmm. and throws those out to the crowd and does the whole trying to raise the roof, makes a big exit. I'm just like, what happened to for you to get to this point? And what's crazy is Antonio Brown had his issues with the Steelers. And so yeah. when he got when he was off the Steelers team, everybody felt bad for him, or like this dude has some mental problems, whatever, but you still wanted to see a comeback story. After his, his stint at the the Patriots, no one has him. He's not working. Tom Brady right. goes after him to bring him to the Buccaneers and lets yep. him stay at his house. Pretty much says, Look, I'm gonna get you straight. I need you to catch balls though. <laughs> need you to be focused. And he blew that. Like there's no team that's going to take him right now. Like, why would you do that? Oh my that? God. There's so many jokes. There's so many jokes he just made considering this is episode 69. <laughs> yeah. To catch balls. He blew it. <laughs> I'm just saying like, there's no team that's going to take him now. Why would you do this? And so you, in, in one, in one hand, you want to feel bad for some of these players because you know they deal with their own personal dramas and and their own Mm -hmm. personal issues and so you want to see the comeback and see the success and see somebody win right but then when they do this you're just like yeah you're a turd that's why you're not playing so are you are you saying he pretty much jacked off his opportunity his 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 opportunities (laughs) are ruined at at this point (laughs) why 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 both of our mamas watch this show what are you doing (laughs) Antonio Brown that's all the time you're going to get from us yeah bye Felicia (laughs) (laughs) which is also what we're saying to uh, one of your favorite politicians no we're not talking Ted Cruz we're talking somebody on this side of the country um, in the southeast uh, that wonderful state of Georgia Marjorie Taylor Greene, banned from Twitter. Oh, it has to hurt. Now, here's the thing. And this is just what's blown my mind ever since. A, she says some of the most asinine things. But she Mm -hmm. has people who follow and believe the shit that she's saying. And so all the, the, she got banned from Twitter for putting false information out about uh, COVID-19. And so that's been one Mm -hmm. of Twitter's rules. Or that thing they started last year. I think around March, they would start to, it's like a strike system. And so after so many strikes, Mm -hmm. you get banned. So they permanently banned her because of things that she's posted. And so her comment back is that they, Twitter just doesn't want me to share the truth. I'm like, wait a minute. So you're telling me you have the truth out there in Georgia, every other state, every other scientist, everyone else in the world, they don't have it. But Marjorie Taylor Greene knows the truth there in Georgia, but she has followers that do that. I blame Trump. Because what Trump is, what, what Trump has done is just told people that, hey, here's some facts. Don't believe them. That's not true. And that's all it is. If it's, you it, don't agree gonna, with it, yeah. it's fake news. Yes. That's what he said. Yeah. It's like it's like an episode of uh, there's an episode of Seinfeld where George was talking about having to take a poly uh, a polygraph test and trying to tell Jerry how to beat it. And he said, it's not a lie if you believe it. Right. Same thing. With this. And so people can go out there and just say whatever. If you try to argue it, challenge it, all they're going to say is you're lying. Even if you bring data, all they're saying is you're lying. And they yeah. have a following. Blows my mind. Okay, so that's exactly why. I mean, I admire your efforts. And this is why I keep telling you this. Every week it's been the same thing for, for a reason. You, you have great intentions. You, you, I love the fact that you're, you're, you're consistent and... You are very steadfast in what you're trying to do and getting Ted Cruz ousted from his senatorial seat. However, 
the people that like Ted Cruz are the people that like Marjorie Taylor Greene and the people that believe the bullshit they spew because Ted says whatever and people go, yeah, and he can say the exact opposite tomorrow. And they're like, yeah, because at the same time, that's what happened with Trump. For everything that Trump said during his campaign and during his presidency, there's an exact opposite of him saying that about Barack Obama. Mm hmm. For eight years, he berated Barack Obama. And then he did, if he did something similar, then he would, it's right now. We've definitely seen this before. Two people can take the, wrong, the same wrong turn. One's going to get pulled over a lot faster than the other. <laughs> Two people can yell at the cop. One's going to drive away, fine. and still cursing. The other, well, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. But we've seen this before. At the same time, Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to be fine because... She had a great rating, approval rating in her district. It's higher now. Yeah. And this move only makes it even more so. It's dumb. But what do you do, right? I, I, that's politics. You get, I, I totally believe in voting and all that stuff, but you have these idiots out there that are able to do these things and say this stuff and just have a whole base of people who support everything they're doing. And now t she's saying Twitter is now is the enemy of the people. No, it's not. That's just ridiculous. I thought they were all going to be on Parlor. Like, why aren't they all on Parlor doing this stuff? Well, the problem is that the only people on Parlor are them. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> the the world isn't talking about Parlor, and so they're on Parlor spewing all this other stuff, and that's where and you know. Thankfully, you know, the FBI and CIA and the NSA and, and the, um, the CDC and the ABC, NBC, <laughs> CBS, they're all on Parler, too. <laughs> they're just not reporting on it. We are more divided now than we've ever been. And when we look back a year from now, we'll go, damn, we weren't that bad back then. Yeah. And that's how bad it's going to get. It's going to get that much worse. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a mess, and you know it, I, I don't want to put all the blame on a particular party um, because I don't think that's the the right thing either. Uh, there's good people. No, not there's good people on both sides. Uh, okay, okay, Trump. Yeah, there's good people on both sides. You know, but yeah, but you know where those people are? They're usually close to the middle because yeah. the people on the extreme far right and the extreme far left, they're both batshit crazy. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Both of y'all. Totally. But the problem is, you have your. Things like this are why Ted Cruz is who he is here in Texas mm -hmm. and why he can go to Cancun and still come back and lie and do bullshit and knowing he's still going to get elected and the fact that he's going to be running for a Senate seat, but also plans to run for 2024 uh, for the Republican nominee and could potentially get it unless he has to run against Trump. If he has to run against Trump, well, then that's not going to happen. He's going to have to wait till twenty. 28? Mm hmm Yeah. If Trump, went, if Trump runs, Ted won't run. But regardless, your Margie Taylor Greens are no different than your Ted Cruz's that are out there saying this crazy stuff. And people vote for these folks. So people, Texans, vote Ted Cruz out. Georgia, look at what's happening. <laughs> How this person represents your state and the batshit crazy stuff she says. Vote these people out. Look, Georgia's looking, the rest of Georgia's looking like um, they look at Atlanta and go, we don't want this in the rest of the state. All right, so we're going to vote this wonderful woman, this queen of a woman, Marjorie Taylor Greene, right back in. And Texas, you better do the same with Ted Cruz. And that's what's going to happen. Ted Cruz is going gonna, is gonna to be back in. Uh, unfortunately, he is. And, and I can't believe this visual came back up in my mind, but I think one of the things is it's a horrifying scene. It feels like the apocalypse. Donald Trump doesn't run. But Ted Cruz does. Mm. And he chooses Marjorie Taylor Greene oh, as his running mate. <laughs> yeah. That, Texas vote, goddammit. No, well, <laughs> I hope he does. I hope he does, because they won't win if they do that. You, you think? I do. Who is there to run on the Democratic side that's going to that's gonna counter that? I don't know. I mean, because you have Biden says he's going to run. So right now, you don't have any Democrats stepping up saying they're going to put their name in a hat to go and against And that's the Biden. problem. We we have turned the Democrats against their own president successfully based on social media. That's the problem.
And they, the Republicans are very successful in that. Pitch this out, say this, put it out there. This is going to happen. And it did. Biden gets trounced regardless. Mm. If he runs again, he gets trounced. Well, he does. But then if he gets trounced, then that ruins Kamala Harris's chance in 2028. I think her chance is down anyway, just because, again, the campaign was to take to take her down with him. And I told you this when it happened a couple of weeks ago when they're like, well, I am. We haven't seen Kamala since. And I'm like, it's easy. You say it one time and people start to jump on. People are sheep regardless. And that's the problem. And that's why people like Ted Cruz will be back in, in office, because people are sheep. If he says the things that they want to hear, they're going to go vote for him. And Texas is going to Texas, Texas is going to Florida, Texas is going to Flexus, and Ted Cruz will be right back in because the sheeple in Texas will follow along and do what they need to do to get him in office. And then if Trump doesn't run, there he is, front runner for the Republican nomination. Well, with Marjorie Taylor Greene as his running mate. <laughs> God, that sounds so yeah, bad. Yeah, that would just be, I can't, I can't see a Cruz Green ticket. I, I just don't see that happening. Um, yeah, don't see that happening. But some other things that we didn't see happening in this bullshit. First off, Betty White. Mm. Betty White, right? Um, she's such an awesome person. And you you take celebrities. I've always said this. Like, I don't know you. I can't say you're a good person or not. Mm-hmm. I've just always felt that Betty White was. Like, if I was in right. Whole Foods and Betty White was there, you know, looking at mangoes, I could be like, excuse me, Miss White. Really love all your work, things I've seen. Uh, she, she's she's like, shut up and give me some goddamn mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just think she's great. So it really, you know, she she was ninety nine, died New Year's Eve, and mm-hmm. her birthday is in two weeks. They actually have a movie coming out uh, that's going to be hitting a bunch of theaters. Uh, and it's a story about Betty White and her mm-hmm. accomplishment. So looking forward to seeing that. But it's one of those things like you know when someone's ninety something, you know it's going to happen. At some mm-hmm. point, you just didn't want to see it. But then I, part of me got nervous because I'm like, wait a minute. If Betty is not willing to go into 2022, what in the hell do we have? <laughs> What's coming? Like, Betty saw something. She's like, I've seen yeah, this. Yeah, she saw something. She's like, I'm out. I'm out. I, I just can't. Uh, <laughs> but it's really sad to see that, you know, Betty White passing away. I think that was a tough, tough deal that everybody heard this week. I remember it popped up in a group text, right? Um and I was like, now y'all, who is falling for this internet hoax and putting this up? And so I went searching and realized, oh, wow, it's true. Because it feels like almost every year, somebody on the internet tries to kill Betty White. So <laughs> the first thought was, no, this can't be, right? Um, and to be quite honest, my wife is a big Golden Girls fan. Mm-hmm. Um, she watched Golden Girls every night. I, she knows every episode. I, I won't even say she's seen every episode. She knows every episode, mm-hmm. literally. So, um, you know, this definitely struck struck at home because she loved Betty White. Um, like you said, a couple of weeks away from her birthday. I think her birthday is the 17th of January. Um, and then at the same time, I think, uh, what was that? Was it last weekend? that the John Madden documentary came out and then he passes a couple days after. Mm. And for football fans, for how our entire generation, Madden. <laughs> Think about the football players in the NFL right now. They grew up on Madden. They grew up playing on Madden. And they, that's why they're now playing Madden, you know? Um, so it's you talk about people that... You don't have a lot of people saying bad things about men. Mm-hmm. Just like you won't find people who say anything bad about Betty White. People loved Betty White. I don't know anybody who was more loved than Betty mm-hmm. White. You know, we loved Obama, but there are a lot of people that hated him. So <laughs> Betty White, you didn't hear a lot of people like, yeah, I don't like her. No, you never heard. I'm, And maybe you did. And maybe somebody finally heard somebody say, but I've never heard anybody say anything bad about Betty White. Now, here's the question I have is if you if you look at the Golden Girls, Apparently, they all didn't really get along and they had a lot mm. of issues, but they still were able to put out mm-hmm. some great content. And so people have said, well, now she gets to join Rose, Blanche and Sophia. But I'm like, if they didn't get along on Earth, are they still going to hang out like in, in heaven? 
Is that how that works? Like, we were waiting for you to get here. Let the battle royal begin. <laughs> yeah. We've been talking about you for decades, <laughs> waiting for your butt to get up here. Now, another one that surprised me, and this happened actually January 1st, uh, mm-hmm. Max Julian passed mm-hmm. away. And for those that don't know who Max Julian is, Max Julian played a character, played a pimp named Goldie in the movie The Mac, which came out in 1973. And it's a, it's a mm. exploitation film. Richard Pryor's right. in it. It's actually really good. Like, I, I used to watch it a lot. But Max Julian played Goldie, and he passed away at the age of 88 um, yesterday. So if you haven't seen The Mac, check it out. But Max Julian was... He was he was amazing in that movie. Could it be the new king? Yeah. I can't even quote it because no one would get I'm talking about it if you're not even seen it. But highly recommend that. But that's another one that just kind of caught you off guard. Like wow, that you know Max Julian died. It's one of those you just kind of look at the you just got to wake up every day, be thankful that a you woke up. Uh, mm-hmm. If you wake up without COVID, another reason mm-hmm. to be thankful because there's so many more people catching COVID um, in the last month, and it seems like it's been in a while. It's just gone crazy. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what 2022 is going to bring. I was out with some friends there asked me like, you know, so do you think it's going to be a better year this year? I'm like, I have no idea. I have no <laughs> idea what's going to happen. I'm just going to go in and try to do some stuff, do what I do, but I have no idea what's going to happen. And that's just how everything, I mean, it's so unknown. You have the mandates, you know, that whether they're going to mm-hmm. happen, not going to happen. There's so many unknowns. I have no idea, man. I'm just trying to survive. Like the one thing else. I do know about 2022 is I'm going to be in better shape because I'm going to be dodging the Omicron variant like um, <laughs> O.J. Simpson running through the airport in that Hertz commercial, jumping over suitcases, dodging airport travelers. <laughs> That's an old school reference. If we're going back to the back, I'm going to go back to the old O.J. Hertz commercial. <laughs> yeah. No, no. That's- Juice. Go Juice. <laughs> That's that's what 2022 is going to be. It's just going to make me way more judgy this year. I'm going to be at the grocery store looking at somebody like, you look like an anti-vaxxer. Let me just go on over this way. I'm not going to go down that aisle and and breathe around you. You you look like you welcome the corona. Uh, the, the minute somebody... <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that a smoker's cough or regular cough? Like, even in the office, I'm, do- I'm dodging people. Well, it's just, it's just <laughs> like in the office. You got those people like... You know, think of remember we talk about potlucks. There's somebody in your office right now, don't say their name, but there's somebody in your office right now that if you found out that person brought a dish to the potluck, you're not fucking eating it. You're like, wait, who's is this? The Johnny yeah. from accounting? Let me explain something no. to you. We had a we had a system in place. Who brought what first? That way we knew who we were eating from. Anything we didn't know who what made, we were mm it, it didn't matter. So yeah, always. Always in that case. But you know what we do know is going to happen in 2022? Married at First Ugh. Sight, season 14, Boston. I will say this. I know you didn't watch it, but I watched the matchmaking special, and I watched the kickoff special. We're in for a treat. It's going to be a shit. I didn't know those were two <laughs> two things you could watch, but no, I didn't watch it. I just want to catch just the, the, the show. No, no, no. Don't tell that lie. I'm not going to allow you to get on here and tell that lie. I sent you the link. For the for the matchmaking special, and you totally ignored my text like you didn't get it. No, I I did click the link. I saw the preview of the the blonde bride that was getting drunk before the wedding. I watched that. Where your vows? Yeah, I watched <laughs> I watched that clip, and I'm just like, oh, this is stupid. And that's all. I I couldn't do anything else beyond that. So uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Let the record show. Oh. You will love this one. This one's going to be a shit show. It's going to be amazing. <sighs> Regular episodes on Monday. I saw audio episodes. On Tuesdays, we drop the video episodes on YouTube. And on Wednesday nights, starting this Wednesday, we're back. Married at First Sight, Season 14 recaps. Terrell's favorite day of the week. No. It's going to be a... But I've learned that... The first episode on Wednesday is going to be three hours long. So mm-hmm. I'm prepared now. So I know mm-hmm. how to drink. I know how to drink this time watching this show. <laughs> Before, I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's going to be an hour or whatever. Yeah. The first episode of our Married at First Sight recap for season 13, if y'all want to go back and watch it, <laughs> two, 
I was that dark liquor got me because I didn't realize I was in for three hours. So. <laughs> I didn't know we were in for three hours either, but I also, I also don't sit and drink and watch TV. So, I mean, yeah, no, I did. I was just like, yeah, we got to record. And I'm just, like, I watched the replay of that. I'm like, wow, Turtle, you were a mess. But I still blame, I still blame <laughs> Lifetime. It's not my fault. They did that. It's definitely not your fault. Um, I will say we've had a lot of requests to, to recap uh, Ready for Love. We've had re- requests to recap 90 Day Fiance. There's the before the 90 days. That one's actually pretty good right now. Love in Paradise. That one's about to wrap, but it was good. Um, you, I, I haven't seen any of those. I don't know anything about these requests. This is the first I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, you're, you're, you're lying. That's not true. <laughs> Oh, I, I knew I knew this would come back around at some point. <laughs> hey, I'm Yanni Rude. And I'm Just Terrell. Make sure you follow us at Yanni Rude, at Just Terrell, and at RGRT Pod. Yes, yeah, send us in some of your random thoughts or some of your bullshit, and we'll talk about them on the show. It's a regular guys, random thoughts podcast. Cheers. Hey, cheers, brother.